Dr. Mark Winnegar here with my HTML prep course. And the topic for this screencast is hexadecimal numbers. Now hexadecimal numbers are kind of like black cats. A lot of people are afraid of them. But trust me, if you got to know the fellow pictured in my background, you'd discover that he thinks he's nothing more than a lapdog most affectionate cat in the world and he's brought me nothing but good luck and hexadecimal numbers are like my friend Oscar here they can be good friends if you simply give them a chance so let's take a look at a spreadsheet that I've created and I've got two columns that we're interested in decimal numbers and hexadecimal numbers. Now decimal numbers are numbers in the base 10. These are the numbers we are most familiar with. Some people think because we were born with 10 fingers and 10 toes. But it has 10 digits and those digits are the Arabic digits 0 through 9. Computers are not people. They don't have 10 digits. So they look at numbers differently. One of the ways that it looks at numbers is as hexadecimal numbers or base 16. Imagine if you were born with 16 fingers and 16 toes. You would count in base 16. Now, that's just what the computer does. We begin representing these base 16 numbers using the same 10 Arabic digits 0 through 9. But, as we move down, Things change. 10, you understand, is 1 units of 10 and 0 units of 1 or 10. But in base 16, it's A. We represent 10 as A. Why A? Well, because we needed to have something in a natural sequence. Because we're going to have to represent 11. And 11 is represented as B. 12 as C. 13 as D. 14 as E. And finally, 15 as F. That's 16 values from 0 to 15. So it's base 16 uses the numbers 0 through F as in Frank. Okay? Now, once we go to 16, it now becomes 1, 0. It looks like 10, and we might express it as 10 in base 16. But it's not 10 that you and I are most familiar with. It's one unit of 16 and zero units of one. Now, why do you need to know this? Well, because very soon we are going to be talking about colors in much more detail. There's two ways that you can talk about colors. One is that you can use a very small set of color names that your web browsers understand. And that's fine but it's very limited. The other way, you can actually blend the amounts of the primary colors, red, green, and blue, and you can have anywhere from zero to 255 units of each of those colors, red, green, and blue in your mixture. But you express the colors when you're blending as hexadecimal numbers. As 
we're talking to a computer. So now 16 is 10 and base 16. Let's, I've got the base 10 numbers going all the way down to, I believe, 255. So I'm going to copy my decimal to hex conversion function all the way down. And let's see what 255 looks like. A little too far there. Okay, so 255 is FF, which would be 15 units of 16. So if I wanted to convert it, I'd take 15 times 16. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 15 units of 16 and then 15 more. Add them together and it comes out to be in base 10, the number 255. You don't need to do the conversion to work with colors. You simply have to be able to understand how these letters A through F become numeric values. So, that's all we're going to cover on hexadecimal numbers. Let me know in class if you have any questions.